Welcome to this quick tutorial module overview. We will have a lot of hands-on learning, that is to say, we will learn about design and how to design through activities. This module was designed as a smooth progression from the first level to the third level. U101 is a level 1 design thinking module with a focus on thinking as a designer. T217 is a level 2 module design essential where we will focus on producing detailed design proposals. We will look at knowledge and skills for design as well as the ingredients that make design. Knowledge and skills we will learn cognitive and thinking strategies, research methods, value, principles and tools. The ingredients of design we will look at forms and function, material and manufacturing and the relation between people and designs. There are five blocks in our module. Block one, you will learn how to critically observe and analyze. The emphasis is observation skills. Once we've learned observation skills, we will then learn to identify specific needs and opportunity within what we have observed. We will learn to identify needs and opportunities and turn them into design brief. Then we turn design brief into design concepts. Design concept we will turn into detailed geometry design. And then we will look at the manufacturing processes. The VLA, which is the Virtual Learning Environment, will guide you all through the module in your reading, the online material you will have to look, skill development activities, the ICMA, ICMA are tools to test your understandings, as well as the TMAs, which are Tutor Mark Assignment. These are the assignments that I will mark. Let's look at skill development activities. Here are skill development activities, you will engage with design activities, assessment activities, we have some workbook activities, and your own reflections. Each block is divided into a few units. Within each unit you will find these components, all of these components, or just a few. If you do follow these components week by week, then you reach the last week, which is your TMA week, and you will be well prepared to producing your TMA. So following this process, and you will be guided online to do so, will mean that on the last week, which is the week where you produce your TMA, you will be well prepared for your submission. The total marks of the TMA will constitute 50% of your final module mark, and the exam will constitute the other 50% of the module mark. So, a very good luck to all of us. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.